Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at all of them. What is going on guys? Brandon Jay, we are back at the pond and today I have a very cool video planned for you guys. So you guys know we come here, we put shiners in the pond all the time. I've asked you in some of the past videos what else we should put in the pond. I wanna stock some like different feeding type of things. And I've got a really good idea. I've also got a phone call from a random person. Hold on, this could be interesting. Probably my extended warranty. Hello? Bye. All right, business as usual. <laughs> Should have known. Where was I? Uh, oh yeah, okay, so babe. So you know we put shiners in here. I really, really wanna do crawfish, but the problem with bait is I have to go to Sam's every single time and that's like an hour and a half round trip. It, it's a lot. And I wanna be able to feed the bass more like daily. Uh, so we want to get a big bait corral. Basically a big giant thing where we can store the bait inside of the pond. They'll last forever. If you guys watched the videos before, we've done this in the past, but we had like a net material and the turtles chewed through it and <laughs> the fish got obliterated. So that's not gonna work. I know Bass Pro Shop has a big metal one. It's made for the ocean. Uh, but I figure if we set up some type of pulley system and whatever, that could work really well. Also, can I just explain to you how resilient this freaking pond is? You guys remember it got sprayed, it was decimated. I showed you the drone footage like before and after and it was like just gross. It's already getting clear and look at the lily pads, dude. This is crazy. This is why I love this pond so much. Look at the lilies. They're freaking back like it never happened. It's so crazy, the water clarity. It's getting there, you know, it's getting there. Good news and bad news. The good news is we're in the right section. The bad news is the exact item I'm looking for is nowhere to be found, which is quite terrible. Now we do have a few options. We've, we've got these in the past. Now these are the net ones that I was talking about a little bit earlier, but uh, the turtles can just kind of chew through that, but we're gonna use that worst case scenario. We just can't leave them. The thing is we want something like like this, but we want a giant. And they used to have like giant bait corrals that were like mesh like that. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of screwed, brother. We could do something here. Even better if we get two of them. Now I'm like this. Now we have plenty of room. So we're talking about minnows. Shiners are not getting through that. We could put crawfish in there. But the thing is, do we bolt it down this way and then just like have to take it off each time, or do we put it this way and have some type of like openable, you know what I'm saying? It's like a pill capsule. But I mean, this would theoretically work. My bad. <laughs> I got it. All right, hear me out. We go home, we take the Sawzall, we saw these two out, right? We keep it here. And even not, even if we didn't keep it here, we basically have zip ties holding all this down. We'll drill holes here. This will be open, it will flap around. We'll drill a couple of holes here and we'll just have like, like little ties, like bow ties there. We'll secure all this down so this does not move. And this will be like a little lid that can hinge right here. You could do half of it, you could do two. That would work. Look, it's less than a hundred bucks. I know the crowd was like 2.99, but it was a giant metal one. This is gonna work. I think it's gonna be fine. Just had an absolutely beautiful, bright idea. Bass Pro Shop sells spear guns and spear equipment stuff. If you guys wanna see a Bass Pro spear fishing challenge, let's get 7,000 likes on this video. Lucky number seven, I will make that happen for you guys. We'll come to Bass Pro, we'll get Bass Pro, we'll get a Bass Pro spear gun. We will even come over to this aisle. We will get a Bass Pro fins, goggles, and snorkel. Uh, and we will try to go out and spear some fish. So if you guys wanna see that, drop the like. 7,000 is the like goal for this one. And please hit it, I, I really wanna do it. I think it could be fun. Holy crap, look at that. We got freaking big old bass right there, brother. All right, first up, you guys know we got the two baskets. They're gonna be like this, creating a pill form, which is gonna house all of our bait. In here, we've got all the tools. We've got the Sawzall we're gonna be using, and we've got the drill we're gonna be using. So. Uh, we also, oh, <laughs> this. let's just go over here, this looks fun. We've got a bunch of zip ties. These are actually from our party structures, if you guys remember that video. Uh, we also got some big industrial ones, just in case. We've got this giant rope that actually came from my magnet fishing setup. And last but not least, these are gonna be super clutch for our lid. They're like these twisty little zip ties. You guys will get what those are, and then, oh yeah, I got uh, some light bulbs, but those are, uh, 
Those are for my bathroom at my house. It's so dark in there. I don't know why. We are going to be using the rescue blade simply for the fact that, I don't know, it's probably the coolest blade in there. All right, watch out, your hat. I'm coming in hot. None of this looks right. Oh my God. I mean, that'll work. I can't see or feel anything I'm doing. I'm vibrating like crazy, you know what I'm saying? There's gonna be so many comments about me chopping my toes off. I just know it. Uh-oh. Got a little out of hand on that. There we go. All right, basket number one is done so. That was easy, man. Ta-da! This is what we wanted. So we've got a nice seal right there. You can see these holes actually line up so we can run those big fat zip ties through there. And that essentially is how big the bait container is gonna be. Me in the fetal position could almost fit inside of this thing. So we're gonna be able to put tons of shiners, crawfish, whatever we want, whatever bait we want. And the holes are small enough where nothing's gonna get in or out. Uh, but even better than that, um, it's gonna have plenty of water flow. Like the whole thing is just riddled with holes, which is great. So we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna lock it down, drill a couple holes. I got a few ideas I wanna share with you guys with this. And then, uh, I mean, we're, we're gonna be ready for bait in no time. And I think this is gonna work great. Honest to God, bro, we might only have to zip tie those two. I don't, th <laughs> I don't think that's moving. Why is everything working for us today? Something's gonna go bad. Something is gonna happen, because when is it ever this easy? Wow. Who knew? Who knew? <sighs> Today's been too good of a day. You know what it is? It's our good karma for thinking we were gonna get the big metal corral, and we didn't. And now life's giving us lemons, because we're making lemonade or something like that. Or I don't know, you know you know what I'm trying to say. Pretty much freaking it. You guys can see the uh, bait contraption. It's not what I had in mind at all in the very beginning, uh, but I think it's gonna work just fine. As long as it sinks, it's gonna sink for sure, right? Victory is ours. It's gonna work so great. That really is gonna be great. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at all of them. Look, Guys, we're at Shiner Sam's. Look at, look at that. Look at the monster. That's freaking you see that? crazy. Get it, it's big. Goodness. All right, so we're at Sam's. Um, I'm gonna be getting some bait for the pill. Uh, we're calling it the pill at this point. I haven't even showed Sam or told him about this, but he's got a, a bunch of dead shiners here, so. Toss those in. I didn't know you had this many back here, Sam. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the big mama right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my new merch. Oh, that's your new merch? Yeah, new oh! color. New color. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have Sam's merch in the description. Are you selling it online? Yeah. All right, so you guys can get it there. It'll be linked in the description below. Woo, look at these bass. Right here, they just follow you, man. Right here, right here. What the heck? <laughs> this is the most unreal yeah, freaking right thing ever. I aspire try to be it. Sam when try I grow try up. It, try it. Oh my gosh, man. Here they come. They're following you. <laughs> wow. Look at the herd of giant bass, Sam. They're all following you. <laughs> oh my God. That's so, so freaking amazing. <laughs> Sam stomping on the ground is my favorite. Look at him. <laughs> Here they come. Wow, look at that. Look Dad, at the back oh, on that one, man. Oh my goodness. Right there. Oh my That's gotta goodness. be the biggest bass I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> All right, hold on. Don't judge me yet, man. Don't judge me yet. All right, this thing. I worked in, oh God, what is that? Oh no, a lot bulb. Oh no. Brandon, what are you making? Yeah, uh, this is a, uh, it's a big bait crate thing. So I can store my bait in the water. Do you think it'll work? Definitely. Do you think they will get out? Mm, the little one, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, we don't need the little ones, you know? We only need the big ones. The little one will get out, but... Uh... So I got my lid here. 
I know if you were to do it, it'd turn out way no, no, better. No, 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 no. This, is good. <laughs> this is good idea here. Yeah. Now, yeah. all I know is the turtle won't get in it. Okay. And the otter will not get in it. I don't think the raccoon might not. So you... Is it... Sh bulletproof. Shiner Sam approved? Heck yeah. <laughs> all right, perfect. So we probably need... How many shiners do you think we can get in there, like, safely? Like... Uh, do you, do you think they'll live for like a day or two, oh, three days in there? Definitely. Yeah. How long do you think I can push it? Uh, a couple of weeks. A week. Really? A week. Yeah, a week. So seven days. Now a little bit deeper water. Now you don't want the water temperature to get so hot. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna swim it out and drop it and yeah. put a line on it. It's even better if you have a shade on them. Okay. Okay. Like I said. What if I put it under the lily pads? Yes. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Yes. Perfect. All right. You heard the man. We're putting this under the lily pads so they'll be shaded it'll be deep enough where it's all the way submerged and i think honestly that's going to be the best of both worlds so we can push this out for like seven days at least that's what sam says and he's the shiner professional as we all know um which is good that's exactly what i wanted now it's just time to get some bait and put them in the uh the big red capsule all right had to make a quick pit stop uh my cameraman travis is at the pond he said he sees a 10 pounder easily and it's not tagged. So had to uh, get one of the uh, rods and a little shiner hook. I want to tag all the big fish. I thought we had all of them, uh, but he said like, hey, this is a really big one. So I'm going to tie all this up real quick. Then we're going to head to the pond. We got to put the shiners in the bucket, but also now we're operation tag big bass. Travis, what up? you saw a big girl. Yeah. Where's she at? Beating shallows. What? Really? Oh yeah. All right. Let's get to work. I got the. I got everything. I got everything. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get to work. I am. Oh, I think that one is tagged. That one's tagged. I'm very quickly going into fish mode. But all right. Let's just. There's so much. Like the, the plans keep changing here. I'm gonna toss out a shiner to this fish. See if she'll eat. She probably should. She's right here. Boom, she ate. It went right towards her too. Were you able to catch that? Heck yeah. Boom. Heck yeah. My babies are starting to get riled up again. Oh. Boom, right here in front of us. Let's do what this was designed for. Oh God. Oh God. That, my friend, is absolutely amazing. All right, now we need one or two of these shiners. I didn't really think this process through. This fish are good. That's not, that's not gonna stay there right now, but we're gonna search for this big 10 pounder real quick. Definitely a bass. Could be mistaken here, but I think we got a big fish on. Yeah. Nope, little. Wait, not Decent. Now, I, I think he just realized he was hooked. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. This fish is tagged. Indeed is tagged. All right, guys. So, I just pitched it out there where normally the big fish hang out. This fish is tagged. I rubbed off some of the algae. It's upside down, but it's zero one two. Can you see it at all? No. No, not really. Well, you have to take my word for it. This is fish number 12. I looked back, what's cool about this, this fish's name is Joe. This is the very first fish we caught in our tagging video and Lojo actually caught this one. So we named it Joe after Lojo. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this a big boy release. I normally say big girl release, but since it's a Joe, you know, it's probably really a Joanne, but you know. Oh, fish slap. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Joe's a feisty one. <laughs> That's awesome, man. We'll keep searching for this 10 pounder that Trav told me about. You know, he's not the kind of guy to lie, but we ain't seen her, you know? So where's she at? Where's she hiding, Trav? We going over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Ow, it's right in front of her. She's eating that. She's eating that. No way. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. No, she got it. She got it. That's not good. That's not good.
This is just an old fish, man. Not tagged. That I think. I don't think he's. Oh, no! no! <laughs> I'm trying not to set the hook, but that fish wasn't tagged. I don't think she'll eat again. That's an old fish right there, though. That was her. Yeah. Well, she wasn't tagged. You saw? Big old fish. Moved real slow. Big mouth. She's, she might be post spawn. She didn't have like a huge, huge belly. That sucks. All right, back to our original plan. That was obviously our big fish. Back to our original plan. Life's good as a shiner. They uh, were just in like a few inches of water. So if they can survive that for that long, they're gonna be all right. We'll button all this up and then I say we toss her kind of deep into the lily. What do we think? I think that's good. Freaking bubble went up my leg. Scared the crap out of me. It's freaking sketchy. I don't like this at all. If it was any hotter outside, there would definitely be moccasins right there. All right, well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap it up for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed If you did, please drop a big thumbs up. Views are at an all-time low right now. It's just the ebb and flow of YouTube during the season change. But one thing we can not control is the likes on the video. So you'll do me a favor. Show me some love. Drop a like. It was a super long video today all over the place. Multiple days filmed. Um, but we got it done. Now we've got the bait corral which we know works hopefully it doesn't freaking wander off or float away but we got the bait corral and it's gonna hold that bait shiner sam said about seven days so i can come out here and toss a handful you know a day for a week and these fish will be locked on it'll be unbelievable already some really great eats today and we have to catch the elusive i will say she had the head of a 10 pounder trap i don't know if she was actually 10. if she was filled out the way her head was she, been. she definitely would have been a 10. i say she's probably a super healthy eight um but maybe if she had eggs in her she would be she'd be a solid 10. with that being said that's gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching and as always i will catch you guys on the next adventure where who knows what we're doing because my my uh, my brain's just been fried lately all right <laughs> see you guys peace out